Well, in the early 1980s, uh, the farm financial crisis was gaining momentum. Now 10, yeah, 11, 12. We had incredibly high interest rates and banks were calling loans and... Banks were closing? Banks were closing and there just wasn't a lot of optimism. We were trying to put together uh, programs that will, would assist farm and ranch families in staying alive. And we developed a four-day workshop program uh, for the, the families that we were trying to help. But it seems like the women were always less comfortable contributing unless they were talking about family goals. There were just a lot of places that they were either not educated or just didn't feel equipped to really contribute to the management part of that discussion. So we just thought that there had to be a way of reaching women. And fortunately, I was able to get, uh, get some grant funds and we were off and running. My uh, county agent at the time told me about it and I thought, hmm, that sounds interesting. I guess I'll go and see what it's like. It was great. I haven't missed the one since. It gives the women who come there a chance to find out that yes, you can live through the bad times. The good times are great, but they're not gonna last forever. And neither are the bad times. It allows people to get together and find out they aren't the only ones having issues. It brings management skills into it and so these ladies, a lot of these ladies have become business managers on their farms and the marketers. More and more women are becoming actual owners and operators uh, by themselves in the state of Nebraska. So this research-based education has been um, very important to them to learn the aspects of uh, farming and ranching and being able to do this and make a profit. We were very cognizant of women being comfortable and in a great learning environment, but we very much wanted them to be able to have fun too. Women infrequently got away from the farm. We wanted it to be an overnight experience where they were pampered and given lots of reasons to laugh and feel good about what they were doing. I will always remember the conference of 2013. It was the, the largest registrations we'd ever had. Over 400 were coming. And the day before, a blizzard hit. As dedicated as these women are, um, this falls during calving season. Uh, we lost many of our ranchers, they had to stay home, but there were still 200 women that made the trek to Kearney. Instead of celebrating my birthday with 400 of my good friends, I celebrated with 200 of my very best friends. Well, I think 35 years of visiting with other women about farming, about ag in general, and about our lives and family on the farm has been one of the best things in my life. <laughs>